Hi everyone. This is part two of the uh, chapter one um, Net 126 assignment. This is um, the continuation of the Net 125 final exam review. Um, part one was a subnetting. Hopefully you've watched that at this point to get all your addresses and everything because you will need it for this. <laughs> Now this is uh, part two, the hands-on configuration part in Packet Tracer. All right, so we're gonna start with um, task two, which is configuring the physical topology. So we're gonna wanna cable all the routers, switches, and PCs together from what we have here. All right, so we're gonna choose uh, the connections option in Packet Tracer. We're gonna use straight through cables for all of them. Um, so we're gonna connect the fast ethernet port of the doctor PC to the um, FA01 and you can look at the um, diagram on the paper that you have for which ones to plug it into as well as the labels that are here. Then we're going to plug in the um, FA or the G01 to G01 here on the router. G00 here to G02 on the switch. FA01 to Fast Ethernet 0. Okay, so now we can start our configurations now that we have everything cabled. So the first thing to have you do is go to the ECU router, and it looks like my labels are actually gone. So I'm going to add them back really quickly. So this is the student PC, the ECU campus switch, the ECU router, the ECU medical part, switch, and the doctor PC. All right, so remember too, I'm just gonna draw these uh, diagram bubbles around it <clears throat> just to show you what subnet is which. So over here, the ECU campus subnet includes all of those devices and ports. And I'm gonna do one in blue for the other side. And this will include all of the ECU medical part. Now again, that does not affect connectivity. I'm just kind of showing you the two separate subnets there and everything is included in either one of them. <clears throat> so uh, it asks us in step two of task two on the next page to configure the ECU router. So that's where we're gonna go first. So we'll do enable config t or short for configure terminal and we want to set the host name to ecu router remember you can't do any spaces there and remember this is a review so we're going to go through it a little bit quicker than usual but remember you can pause this video to write down anything or take notes um, the encrypted privilege exec password and i'm just going down the list of um, in the table there in your directions uh, the encrypted privileged exec password is enable secret because that makes it encrypted and then what we want to set is the password is final. Okay, uh, then we want to set a line access console for if you console into the actual ECU uh, router. So that would be line console zero or you can do line con zero um, password is networking and we make sure we type in login for it to actually use it and then the telnet access password for five channels total we do line vty zero space four that means five people can log in and it assigns them a channel each time they log in so zero one two three and four password networking login to force it to use it now we're going to configure a message of the day. So we do banner MOTD and in quotation marks, we want to put this is the networking final exam. Okay. Um, and now we're going to configure the actual two interfaces there. G00 
and G01. G00 happens to be on the right side of the router and that's the ECU campus subnet. So it's very important that you refer to that physical topology because you gotta know which one is which to assign the correct addressing. So we do interface, you could type out interface which is INT G00. And we go to our diagram that we did for our subnetting from video one and we're looking at the um, router one's G00 interface, okay? So that will be 209, so I'll do IP add, 209.165.202.190. Okay, and then we're going to do, uh, we're going to set a description actually as well. <clears throat> the description does not affect connectivity, so if you were completely wrong here, it wouldn't matter, but we want to just do it for when we do show run, go back later. So we're going to do a uh, connection to uh, the ECU campus switch, right? And then we're going to do no shut or no shutdown for it to turn it on, and you'll see it start to go green there. Okay, so we're going to exit out of that one, and we're going to go into interface G01, which is on the left side connected to the ECU medical park subnet. So IP add, and if we consult our paper from before, we did 209.165.202, all right, dot 126, 255.255.255.128. And we're gonna do a description, is connection, to the ECU medical part switch. And no shut or no shutdown again for it to turn on. <clears throat> so we're done with uh, R1. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to both switches for the medical part and the other one. So uh, the medical part switch here, okay. We're going to set a host name, ECU, remember no spaces. Okay. Uh, we set the encrypted privilege password. So enable secret final. And the outline console zero. Password networking. Login. Line BTY04. Password networking. Log in. Uh, we also set a message of the day, so banner MOTD, and we had secure system. Um, and then we're going to set the IP address and subnet mask for interface VLAN 1. Okay, so interface VLAN 1 there, we did uh, for the EC medical part switch IP add 209.165.202. Dot 125, 255, 255, 255, 128. Okay, and we can do, um, we don't really need a description there. Just do no shut to turn it on. And then lastly, we want to set a default gateway. To do that on the switch, you do IP default dash gateway and then remember the default gateway for all the devices in the ECU medical park subnet are, are the is the IP address of G01 on the ECU router which was 209.165.202.126 and remember too you want to do copy run start at the end of any of these uh, commands just to save your settings. Remember, you still do need to save the actual package file, but it saves it to the, you know, save each router or switch setting. So here, we're on the other switch. So host name, ECU, campus. For the name, uh, enable secret final. 
line console zero password Cisco or sorry password networking used to our regular stuff in the, the semester um, log in line BTY04 password networking log in um, banner MOTB secure system and interface VLAN 1 on this side is using IP address 209.165.202.189.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.